Yo. Uh, so we just got the final news that we've been waiting for for what's essentially two months at this point. Uh, War will be receiving a major update in mid-October. First of all, we want to thank everyone for the continued support of the game. We understand that some players have expressed concerns about the War community due to the recent delays caused by the store review process. As soon as we confirm the feasibility of the update, Content, we are excited to share the great news with you, ensuring that you will get reliable first-hand information. This mid-October update will be the long-awaited update or upgraded se arena season, which we'll go over that. A new feature where you can customize the attribute entries of recommended gear. So that's like the new gear filtering system where you could basically create your own code and essentially give out like what you think you should be cleansing for your gear um it's an okay system there still needs to be some tweaks to it i'll go over that as well uh new stages of artifact material raid additionally a new host of heroes will be joining the fray you can check out the detailed update content in the version preview which will be released in early october <clears throat> so we'll go over all these updates uh essentially this is like two updates in one because we had we've had like a few major updates honestly at this point on in Forerunner. So we'll go over there. So first off we have the new arena champ. Um that is Lady Alexandra. Uh she is forty thousand credits, and they are pretty hard to earn, so if you're not somebody that plays a lot of arena, you kinda gotta change it around. I'm definitely one of those people that really just doesn't push arena. You can see I got three hundred battles here. Uh, so essentially, for uh, Platinum 3, you get 200 a week. So if you're trying to get 40,000, it's going to be a long fucking time. Um, Overlord, you only get 400. And Apex Overlord, you get 1,500. Um, for wins in Overlord, you get 10 per win. So you could earn some that way as well. But if you're not finishing Apex consistently, it's going to take you a long time to get her. Um, I wish they would change it to where you can get some points just for winning in Plat 3. I would think that'd be better. Maybe not like a whole bunch, but give us at least like two or something where you could start building those up rather than just absolutely nothing. Um, otherwise, there, it's just going to be a cutoff for most people to get that champ. Um, also in there, it's like it's season exclusive. You have the Freya's Legacy, which is essentially just like uh home screen cosmetics it doesn't really do much it changes your whole home screen thing there also oops damn it uh we have the border it's pretty cool um but if you're someone that's trying to save 40,000 points you probably don't want to spend a thousand there especially if you're grinding for a long time you have the Silas exclusive here. I'm assuming this exclusive is going to change out every season. Same thing with these. So we'll have one changing out after this. So yeah, there's that. Um, AMR raids. So we have the four new levels. I have videos on all those. Uh, they're not like crazy difficult, but they're definitely a step up from 18. Um, the mage ones are a little bit easier than the fighter ones, for sure. But uh, there's definitely both ways. There's for sure ways around, like just like with some uh, budget teams. As far as farming them, is it worth? It's still up to, for debate. Um, if you're hunting the exclusives, it's probably one of the best things to fish for. But now where we have like the exclusive gear coming too, it's kind of argued, is that worth it more? I don't know. It's really just where you're, what you want to do. Uh, I'll go over kind of. I've probably farmed a couple hundred thousand energy so far in this. I've gotten some good things. Like you can see, I've gotten four Silas exclusives already. Um, I've gotten a ton of hat sets. I've gotten some Desomis. I've gotten some Dahlias. I've gotten some Anoras. So it's you're. You're definitely getting exclusive drops, <laughs> it's just never the ones that you're really looking for. I've gotten a few Vierna's as well. So I'm, I've am i literally just been hunting for this Hex one. As soon as I get it, I'm done with that. Um, but also with that, 
Uh, if you're somebody that needs like some tiered twilights, it's a great one to farm. I think I've gotten close to four max now. Yeah, I almost have four max now. I had two when I started farming this, so definitely gotten quite a bit of tiers through here. So it's kind of worth um, if you're just looking for like a specific artifact. Like if you needed maybe some uh, whaling skulls, you might go farm the fighter version. Uh, what else was on the update? It doesn't say anything about Farmville, so uh, I'll be wondering if we're getting that still. Uh, new heroes, we have, it'll be like the Bezel above the Zarez. So yeah, uh, get excited, guys. It's been a long, long time since we've been waiting to get this update. Uh, let me you guys know how your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, I know a lot of people have been either like just not really focusing on the game or just kind of been pushing the game aside, but we could finally get excited for something. But yeah, that's all for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.